So in this episode of what we have in our closet, more bags for you bag lovers. Previously on bag channel, we had Chanel, Chanel and Chanel. Today, we're talking about cute, dainty little bags that go with a cute, dainty little Sarah. I actually have a lot of small bags. Reason being, Jason loves small bags himself as well, and he always compliments me when I, I'm using a small bag. He thinks it's really cute. I've picked out a few of my latest favorites, latest being in the past, let's say, a year mm. that I've used the most because I do have some from a couple of years ago, but they're kind of outdated, so um, they're not really easy to mix and match with outfits these days. So I've picked a few out, and I really want to share them with you. Okay, starting with... Just a few, not too many. Let's go with the order of most frequently used in the past six months to a year. Oh, this is your vlog. Well, let me test you. Which one have I used the most? Nope. Nope. So, so. See, you don't take notice of me. Okay, let me start this. So as you can see, this bag is a mix of... Leather and canvas. And the compartments inside are very practical. A big one here for tissues and wet wipes and alcohol sanitizer. And we've got the back here as a zip compartment for your credit card, your ID card, your driver's license. A mixture of leather lining, canvas in the middle. It looks a bit elegant, but at the same time a very casual, chic look. This bag was purchased on Neza Porte. This is how she wears it usually, crossbody like this. So she can look after Damon like this. It's just so lightweight and carefree. You can also wear it like as a belt because you can adjust the strap like this. So what right. you can do is if you're wearing like a oversized blazer, you can kind of like use it as like a skinny belt with a waist bag kind of look. And it's really cool and it's really chic. And I feel like because it's leather and canvas, you can use it during summer or winter. It can be used cross seasons. So so it's super, super versatile. And I think it was quite a good buy because I got it on sale and it was around 3,000 Hong Kong dollars. And I've used it like practically every second day. I've used it quite a lot. Okay. I'm not justifying for my spending. No, it's okay. Uh, no, it's, it's worthwhile. Not too expensive. I use it a lot. So, uh, mm, uh, 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 mm, well, uh. Next bag. <laughs> I like this one a lot because it's, it's green. very practical. No, no, no. It opens up and it's one big compartment in the middle. Let me demonstrate. So this is another crossbody bag. So it comes like right to my waist here, this area. Yeah. And it, you just open it up like this and you can kind of get things out like this. Yeah. Mm. Small and dainty, but the compartment inside is huge. I reckon my A7R3 would fit in there. Uh, no, it doesn't fit in there. Do you want to try? Uh, to be really honest, I'll bet you a trillion dollars, which I don't have, that it won't fit in there. The brand is called User Fee. User Fee? User Fee. Okay, here we are. There's a, a medium sized, medium to large sized camera. And it doesn't fit. It fits. Yeah, but with the flaps open. The lens is just too big. That's fine. Fit. You can have your bag back and take my camera away. And the great thing is, this was a gift from Lane Crawford. So I didn't have really? to pay for it. Yeah, and I love it so much. I use it quite a lot. Why didn't I get a gift from Lane Crawford? It's a user fee. Yeah. What? One of my uh, most used bags recently. Hey, Lane. Crawford. <laughs> Give us a shout. I wouldn't mind a bag or a suitcase. Maybe a new jacket for the summer, for the winter, or the winter. So this cute, dainty little bag. I agree. Is yes. very pretty, cute. Is by Simon Miller. It's lovely. Comes in a variety of colours, but it's totally impractical. It's good for what? Good for a phone. My Apple TV remote. A packet of tissues. Uh, maybe another TV remote, and there we have put it. put a lot of stuff in. And now it's packed. Yeah. It's very cute. Extremely pretty. Practical? Nah. 
a lot of fashion items aren't practical in the sense that you can fit your whole house in the bag and take it out. I mean, that's really impractical. For me, I think this bag is great for when I go out for dinner or like shopping without Damon. Shopping. It's good for one packet of Doritos. Or Damon's animal shaped pasta. You don't exactly take a bag out to put your groceries in. This is a handbag. Shopping. I don't want to talk to people who have no idea about fashion. Who puts pasta in the cute little dainty handbag? It's good that you think of Damon when you go shopping with your dainty black Simon Miller bag. That's why I don't take this out when I go out with Damon. Like, it's inconvenient. But it's only good for when I'm going out with you. I'm carrying in my bag. Because <laughs> it doesn't fit. <laughs> Anyways, this bag is super cute and it's a present from my best friend. This is one of my favorite small dainty bags. Cute. This is a favorite of mine. Talk to about impractical. Really, totally impractical. If I hold it really far forward, it looks like the size of my head. But in fact, it's really dainty. Super dainty, super impractical. I've shared this with you guys before on my shopping haul from Japan. Oh, in one of the vlogs. a few months back. Yeah, a few months back. The message I got from the salesperson was, this bag is super hard to get. <laughs> and then everyone kept telling me you could get it from Hong Kong. And I realized you can get it from Hong Kong, but whatever, I really liked it. It's cute. I've used it once and it's really impractical. No, twice. I but really don't no know. it's no smaller than Simon Miller though. I know, but you can't put your phone in there. Like, I suppose, you, yeah, yeah. You won't put your phone in there and kind of like walk around with your phone sticking out like this because it's like the phone will fall out. But it's super cute. I would want to use it again. What can you put in this round bag? Oh, you could put a, a cheeseburger or a double cheeseburger would fit nicely in this bag. I'm not putting a cheeseburger in my little small Louis Vuitton. It's going to stink out the bag. Although I always feel like these Louis Vuitton leather bags, they smell after a while. No. No? It smells quite nice. Yeah. And this is its kind of like cousin, the bento box from Louis Vuitton as well. I'm really into these kind of bags with a rigid shape. Uh. Yeah, and a little handle on the top. Oh yeah. Yeah. See? And the little lock. I, I don't know, I have a I have a weak spot for these bags. It's more fetish for locks. Anyways, and these are two different colours. This one is an older, older bag. This one I got like three years ago and I use it quite often. And this one is definitely more practical because you can definitely fit your phone and a wallet in. Yeah, adjustable straps. Yeah. Which you flicked my face with. Did I? Oops. Flicked you with one of my favourite bags. You should be honoured. Yeah. She bought this bag, or I bought this bag. You can't even remember. Don't remember. Because... I recommended it. Apparently, what happened was, as she recalls, we were in Sydney, we were in Hermes, we were being told how lovely this bag was, and Mr. Chan thought, oh, it is very nice. And then she very reluctantly said, okay, I'll have it. Because <laughs> they were grateful. telling us the craftsmanship and the design I'm behind grateful. this bag. It's not a signature style by Hermes. It's not your like Birkin or your Kelly, but it's understated. But for those of you who are Hermes fanatics, you can tell that this is a maxi box mini. The craftsmanship is really nice and the leather's really nice, although it scratches really easily. Like if I was in there by myself, I would not have bought this because, you know, she they're not no exactly super affordable. That lilac Chanel that I bought you, that you didn't like, everyone loved. Everyone who watched our vlog loved it. They're just trying to be nice to you. No, they have good taste like me. I mean, this one's cute. Like, I'm just saying, you always want to go into Hermes buying a signature Tell style, us. right? How lovely is this bag? It's super practical and it is very chic when you use it. Not with this tie dyed shirt, obviously, but very chic if you're in like a really sophisticated outfit. Yeah. Thanks for recommending. Oh yeah, you have such, oh, good taste. such good taste. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for just uh, taking the bag. Last but not least, this is probably 
the most recent bag I got. I should do a bag vlog. All my bags would be a mixture of Todd's and... Victorinox. Victorinox. Because they're both practical and well-made. Very interesting. You've just done your <laughs> bag sharing. <laughs> but nonetheless. Nonetheless. Well-made. Yes. Very stylish. This is probably the newest bag in my collection. Got it just before Christmas. Before this whole coronavirus thing, I'm in been out shopping. Have you used it? Even? Yeah, I've used it a few times. This is the Todd's D Styling Mini. It is not so so mini, but it's quite small. Crossbody. Once again, crossbody bag, patent leather, super versatile. It's not a good angle for you. I think it makes your waistline look a lot bigger. Remember last time you were doing it with the Chanel, it just... I don't mind. Your butt looks big in this angle. I use my hand to cover my butt. <laughs> Anyways, this bag is super easy to take care of because you can just wipe the leather. It's a bit bigger than the Chanel I bought you. So in here we could fit... A lot of stuff. <laughs> Can't fit the camera. There we go. You can barely see the lens. This is how practical, but at the same time stylish this bag is. The reason I got it was because I wanted a black mini bag that was practical. Very self-contradicting. Like this one, you can use it as a crossbody. It goes with like all your winter colors. And it's also patent. It's not so dull because with the patent leather, there's like a shimmer and it glistens a bit more. So, so in the light, you can find it, you won't lose it. Well, black is always very timeless and classic. So why not? Just buy another bag. Yeah, they're not all the mini bags I have, but these ones are the ones I like and I would recommend. Yeah, I'm happy buying any kind of bag. So Recently, you've just been using Enviro bag and that big <laughs> IKEA plastic bag. Oh, that's amazing. I should do a vlog on the whole IKEA shopping experience. Not shopping at IKEA, but using the IKEA Enviro bag. It's amazing. Yeah, that's the bag he's been using the most when he does his grocery shopping. He just dumps everything Freaking in there. Freaking amazing. Yeah. And you can wash it. Anyways, hope you enjoyed our vlog. I loved Bye. it.